Hi everyone, my name is Jessie and I am the author of May I Only Leave Rose Petals. So this is one of my videos for my video series talking about my journey with my book. And today the topic is gratitude. And the reason why I wanted to do this topic today is because I've been in a funk the past few days and gratitude is a great way to transmute feelings of depression, anger, resentment, everything, all those negative feelings. If we just ease into a gratitude practice, it really helps with that. So what I'll start with is my little poem about gratitude and then I'll talk about it. So the poem is called The Gift of the Rainbow. The gift of the rainbow, eyes to the skies dreaming of what awaits at the rainbow's end. What awaits there, we all wonder and dream, losing sight of the gifts before our eyes. Our eyes to the skies we do not see, the gift of the rainbow is at our feet. Gratitude will light the way. There is magic in gratitude. I learned about a gratitude practice from my guru, Louis Dordemfri, and when I implement it, I see magical things happen in my life. So the simple practice is, is you say what you are grateful for right when you wake up in the morning and then right before you go to bed. And it's only about two to three minutes, just things that you're grateful for. And oftentimes when I start this practice, um, I feel like I don't have the feeling of gratitude, but it's just trusting and finding even the smallest thing to be grateful for and even being grateful for those things that are hard or challenging in our life because those are the things that will bring us growth and expansion. So the magic was this, when I started doing this, um, what I found with uh, Louis' teachings is that gratitude inculcates gratitude. So the universe will inculcate or create us being grateful when we do have this practice, even when we don't start off being grateful. And so I want to share a little experience of mine that illustrates this. So uh, this was a few months ago, or quite a few months ago, but I was going through some depression and feeling like I wasn't connecting with God and just feeling really lost in life. And so I started doing this practice and I uh, was doing it diligently for about two to three weeks. And just one day I was feeling a little under the weather and I called my mom and uh, was talking about her, about my connection with God and feeling like, um, I wasn't really connecting with God and she said Jesse you could watch a colony of ants and learn so much about God by just watching a colony of ants by just connecting and being in the moment and I was like hmm wow that's really deep and so uh, we ha ended that phone conversation and the next day um, me and my husband were out doing stuff and we came home and suddenly it was just like a train of depression hit me, this cloud of despair and like just stagnant energy just hit me and took the wind out of my sails and I literally felt like I just wanted to curl up into a ball and just and just like die or disappear. It was so odd how it just came upon me like that. And so my husband was outside and I was just inside and I was just curled up on my couch, just feeling so, so lost and so depressed. And like, like I couldn't even get up to face the day. It was really weird. And suddenly my husband comes in as I'm laying there and he says, hey honey, I found this colony of ants. Do you wanna come watch them with me? And I was like, whoa, okay, that is so cool. I had not told my husband about my conversation with my mom the day before. And suddenly during this moment where I was hit by this train of depression, 
suddenly when he came in and said that, it just put all this wind and love into my sails. And I, I mean, it snapped me out of my depression like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, let's go. And we went and watched the colony of ants and it was just so beautiful just being there in that moment and enjoying that moment and realizing the universe does listen to you. I mean, how, how magical is that? That's such a synchronicity. And I hold that in my heart because when I do get in those depressions, I think of that moment and come back to that gratitude practice. So my friends, I invite you to try this practice out and share your experiences with me. And um, just know that the universe is listening to you and what you put out into the universe, it will come back to you, even when you're faking it to make it. Because what matters is the determination, the will, and just the practice of doing it. And the universe falls in love with that. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, my friends. So gratitude will light the way. So comment below and let me know your stories or synchronicities of this practice. Thank you so much and God bless. Namaste.